I hope you're having a good day today. Um, this is my first update for my Pam Those Eyeshadows Roulette um, thing. So let us get started. I believe that the first shadow that I pulled was Moremi by Julia's Place in the Warrior palette. Um, so I'm gonna insert a picture of what that looked like last month. And this is what it looks like today. Um, so obviously I haven't hit pan on this. I've used this 10 times and frankly, I feel like the dip kind of looks the same that it did, but I still feel like I used this a good amount. The dip is not that much. I feel like the shadow is pretty hard. So I've not hit pan on this one and I have a feeling that this is gonna take a long time and that this is gonna be around for a while. I'm actually gonna include in the description some of my favorite um, channels that do other pan those eyeshadows videos so if you're interested in seeing more of those you can go down there and check them out um, but I've seen other people use Julia's place shadows for pan those eyeshadows and they take a long long time so this is gonna we're gonna get to know each other very well that's embarrassing. I meant to paint my nails before recording this, but oh well, it's too late. Okay, um, so the next shadow I believe that I pulled was the green glitter from the Wet n Wild Glitter Palette. So I'm going to show a picture of what that looked like last month. And this is what it looks like today. So you can see there's a pretty big dip in there, and I've only used this seven times, and I feel like I'm pretty close. I've honestly had a pretty fun time playing with this and using it in different ways. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna try it again. If I don't hit pan by next month, I might roll it out, but maybe that's cheating. I don't know. I haven't decided all the rules for this yet. All right, so the next shadow was the yellow shadow from my Take Me to Brazil BH Cosmetics palette. And in the photo, you're gonna see what both the yellow and the green looked like last month. Um, so here's the picture. And here is the yellow. I'm so excited. Um, I used this nine times total and I hit pan after eight times, um, which is quick, but I used this a lot before actually starting this video. It's probably my most, most used shadow in my collection in general. Um, so it's so nice to see this. I'm so excited. We're off to a pretty good start. And I actually also hit pan on the green, which is also exciting. So I get to roll this palette out completely. I'm really glad that this was with me this month. Um, I'm wearing a lot of the shadows from this palette today and I forgot how much I like it. Um, again, quality, not that great, but it's really fun. The crazy thing is, without even trying, I hit pan on this shade right here. It's like a white shimmery kind of shade with like a little bit of a greenish blue tint. Um, I used this one also I think eight times, but I'm so happy I hit pan on two shadows and that means I get to use two more. And the last shade that I was working on this month was Aura in the Venus palette. I will show you a picture of what it looked like last month. This is what it looks like today. So the dip has gotten bigger. You can't really see, but it is pretty deep. I have used this 16 times. I used it almost every day, almost every time that I did eyeshadow. And I also used it like as inner corner. Sometimes I put it under my eyebrow. I usually would also use it as a highlight. So I've used it a lot. Someone commented on my video and notified me that the Lime Crime eyeshadows are very deep, which I learned. So those are all the shadows that I've been using this month. Um, I hit pan on two, which is better than I honestly expected. Um, so I'm just gonna really quickly insert some pictures of some looks that I've liked from this month um, using all five. So now I'm gonna pull two new eyeshadows. So I have the random number generator on my phone. I'm gonna pick a number one through 15, which are how many palettes I have, and then um, get an eyeshadow in there, again, using the random number generator. Oh my gosh. So I got number four, which is my Tarte Blush palette. I don't, I wanted to include 
it just cuz it's a palette and I have it um, and <laughs> I pulled number eight which since it's laid out like this I went one two three four five six seven eight which is now another light shimmer so I have three of those now. This one's very different. Um, it's super old. It's kind of pink. It's got a little bit of glitter in it. So this one is intended to be a face highlight, which is nice, I guess. I don't, I have three now. How am I gonna? Sometimes I would mix Moremi and Aura to make an inner corner highlight. I might just mix all three now to make progress on all of them. And the last shade that I pulled was from the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place, Place, which is the 13th palette in my collection. This one was a gift from my sister for Christmas. Um, I'm really happy that I pulled this one because when I was working with the Warrior, I really missed this one. I have the Masquerade, which I used for a long time. I would use it very often. But when I got this, I didn't really use it all that much, but every time I use this, I really love it. It's got really unique shades in there, kind of like earthy tones. Um, I pulled number one, which is kind of this like orange shade, but it's another Juvia's Place, which means it's gonna take forever. Honestly, it's pretty soft though, so it might not take that long. Um, so this is the shade right here. And this is what it looks like on my hand. It, it looks pretty bright, um, which is interesting because in the palette, I feel like it doesn't look that bright. And sometimes on the eye, depending on how much you put on, it can look bright like this if you put on a little bit, but the more you pack it on, it kind of takes on like a deeper shade. I'm also hoping that I can use this as a blush, which I think would actually look pretty cute. So this is the color palette that I'll be working with this month. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll be able to create any looks using all of these that would even like look good, but I'll try. If I hit pan on anything, it'll probably be this sh shimmery green because I do have a dip in it and since it's like wet, a lot comes out every time. But oh my god, these three are gonna kill me. Go ahead and check out the channels that I'm linking. Um, let me know if you're interested in seeing anything else. Let me know if you're interested each month in seeing like a tutorial of me using all five shadows. I really wanted to do one this last month, but the timing just didn't really ever work out. Um, I wish I did because it was really cute. But let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that each month. All right.